A river Tees. The river Tees is located in northeast England. Its source is at the Pennines, 893 metres above the sea level. It travels eastwards towards its mouth, which is located in the North Sea. The upper course bed low size is large and the freshly eroded rocks. But its depth and width is shallow and small due to the slow river. The erosion types there are vertical, which forms the V-shaped valleys, which are very narrow. When we get to the middle course, the gradient becomes a lot lower and leads to meanders being formed. The erosion taking place is, is lateral. Abrasion, abrasion is also here, which leads to bed load size being smaller. Um, the middle course also transports a lot of sediment from the upper to the lower. The lower course. The bed lift size is very small due to lots of abrasion. The floodplains are formed and built when the river floods. The river valley is wide and flat. The river uh, nearing the mouth is said to be tidal and industry takes advantage of the floodplains and builds onto it. And this is how the floodplain is formed. Uh, then back to in, towards the lower, the, towards the upper slash middle course of the river, a, a place called High Force Waterfall is is present. There, um, there is there is a wind sill hard rock on the top layer, which has which has been eroded less than the sandstone beneath it. This has created gravitational potential energy along with vertical erosion, has created a plunge pool. The plunge pool eventually makes an overhang. And as a result, the hard rock doesn't have enough support to hold itself up. Gravity takes over and breaks part of it off, so the overhang breaks. Um, this falls into the plunge pool, more abrasion takes place, and the, the process happens again, and you get headward erosion. Is that it? Yeah.